Hi, this is Rahul with RightRahul.com and welcome to the channel that is driven by its subscribers. That means you. One year ago, when KTM launched the Duke 390, it was the unbeatable package. At the price point, the power it offered, the ABS, the Metzalas, everything was just top notch. And the KTM Duke 390 has remained unbeatable for the past one year. Until KTM launched this. The KTM RC390, the perfect package. It takes where the Duke left off, it improves upon the ride and handling and the dynamics, plus it gives it that KTM Moto3 experience, which makes it a very unique bike in the Indian market, as well as probably the best Tata Sport bike in the international market. Let's find out what these motorcycles mean in a head-to-head -head comparison, shot in Bangalore's twisties and nice road. The KTM RC390, the full fared cousin of the Duke 390. They share the same platform, but they have a lot of different things to offer to the rider. So let's take a look at the differences. The styling has been completely redone. The essence remains the same, but the entire bodywork is new. It now has a shorter wheelbase as well. Up front, it now gets all new twin projector headlamps, newly worked mirrors with integrated indicators a windshield that offers excellent aerodynamics and the side has a full fairing as it should be on a sports bike, a redesigned fuel tank which hides the battery inside it and new low clip-on handlebars and even the rear of the bike is a completely redesigned unit with slight modifications to the trellis frame, an all new pillion seat that looks like a seat cowl and there is a new tail lamp as well, even the rear tire hugger is different. It never feels like the RC shares so much with the Duke just by looking at it. Even ergonomics is all new. The seating position is nice and leaning to the front with excellent recesses to put the knee properly and hold the bike. The problem with the Duke had always been a nice place to put the knee and this has been overcome in the RC. This helps the RC a lot in cornering as well. The posture is a long way away from the upright too friendly posture of the Duke but the RC is built for the track and the weekend short tours and not for a trip to Ladakh. But I have a crazy feeling that some of the owners will take it there. But it's not just the styling and ergonomics that has changed. The dynamics of the bike has changed as well. The Duke has a 50-50 weight distribution. The RC has gained 8 kg over the Duke and most of this weight goes to the front, making it front biased. Also, most of the rider weight is now up front so the front brake provides a good amount of feedback and mid corner stability has been improved many fold. When I was cornering with the Duke on the twisties, I felt a remarkable difference between both the bikes. On the Duke, I could hold a good amount of lean angle but with the RC, even if I entered the corner a bit slow, 
and with lesser lean angle, I had enough feedback and confidence to accelerate in the corner and increase my lean angle if I wanted. Low speed maneuvering is still supreme with the Duke but the RC is very close behind. I thought the RC would be hard to handle in the city but my friends Rahul and Farhan were managing it just fine. Only Rahul mentioned that when he had a pillion the wrists ended up hurting a lot. From the days when I used to own R15 I know this to be true. And whereas the new pillion seat is extremely comfortable, having a pillion will increase rider discomfort. And I don't think I would do a long distance tour with a pillion on the RC. Solo touring, I don't mind. Performance wise, both the bikes feel the same. The Duke is slightly faster off the line, but the differences are so low that winning of a drag race would depend on the rider skill. If both the bikers are absolute same level, then yes, quarter mile drag will be won by the Duke. That being said, the RC is the faster motorcycle overall. The reason of this is twofold. First, RC has a certain aerodynamic advantage over the Duke over speeds of 130 km per hour. But the main reason is corner speed. I'm sure that I was getting a few extra degrees of lean on the RC and this is going to mean quite a bit of difference in the final lap times. If you are an enthusiast and wants to learn track riding, then this is the perfect bike for you. The Duke is an all-rounder. It does city, highway, track days, long tours and can even become a stunt bike if you want it to be. The RC is a specialist. It sacrifices a bit of comfort and long touring ability and won't make for a great stunt bike, but in the exchange it gains excellent cornering ability better top end performance and comfortable and stable way to hold those higher speeds on the highway thanks to the aerodynamics. I can understand why the RC is going to be released in the USA where there are a lot of straight highways where you need to maintain a higher amount of speed for a very long time. The RC can fit that bill perfectly. There is just one more thing I have to add. Motorsports in India is rising slowly. And any rider who wants to gain some importance has to start very young. And today, a European young rider is training for MotoGP or WBSK by competing on a RC390 ADAC Cup bike. What pleases me is that a young rider in India can train in the same bike here and that is great for Indian motorcycle racing. The Duke was already an unbeatable package but with the RC, KTM has managed to improve upon the ride and handling, a full fared sports bike style that is more likely to impress girls. I love her seat with 90. It's as sexy as me. And at the same time, made it a proper track worthy motorcycle right off the showroom. Even the heating problem is no longer there. So, the RC390 wins this shootout, shot in Bangalore's twisties and nice road. But we know this, that when the conditions change, it might favor the Duke. The motorcycles are different and they are built for different purposes, for different type of riders and usage. But sometimes, we like to forget all that and fix up a venue and put the bikes against each other like we did, ride them hard and find one winner for that day and today that winner is RC390 because the conditions of twisties and straight perfect road favored the RC. Anyways, whichever motorcycle you take, take it based on your requirements because I think I've clearly mentioned which motorcycle is suitable for which person. But don't go away because up next is an even bigger challenge. Hit the subscribe button to get that video first when it's released. Thanks for watching and do leave your feedback, questions and comments. And please let the emergency vehicles like ambulances and fire trucks pass. I have recently encountered this and I felt really bad so I just wanted to pass on this message. Thanks for watching, like always and I'll see you very very soon.